indelible images of neighbors sheltered from a loud and angry hailstorm. People got out of harm's way on March 19th. Businesses could not. Some of our report from the Nissan car dealership that night. We sometimes talk about hit or miss. There were no misses here. Some unforgettable pictures exactly a year ago. Here we are in the same place, same dealership. The windshields are intact. Sales are said to be brisk, but it's taken a long time to get here. It's, a hard, it's really hard to look at to see where we were a year ago. General Manager Shan Bell looks at our video that reminds her of staggering losses here. I would say anywhere from six to nine million dollars and still, we're still in the process of recovering from that. The building dented and scarred with signs that still need repair, but Bell says business is thriving once again. Yeah, all this had to be replaced. Also pelted that night, the Coleman County Sheriff's Office and Detention Center. We lost 21 patrol cars, brand new vans we had just bought with 300 miles on them. Every heating and air conditioning unit blown to bits. Portions of the roof and fireproofing crashed to the ground. A full year later, contractors are still trying to piece things back together. Sheriff Gentry wishes progress would go faster. I like to move at the speed of business, not government. Losses will total eight to nine million dollars. But here and at the car dealership, there was no quitting. The storm did its damage in 20 minutes, but recovery is taking more than the year gone by. In Coleman, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.